Hi everyone, now I'm going to be showing you guys a few attacks from side control. Uh, before we even go, before we get to the attacks, I'm going to show you guys how to control your opponent. Now, there are a few different ways of controlling your opponent in side control. Uh, probably the most traditional way is to grab your opponent's head. A lot of instructors will show you to hold on to the collar. I personally don't like this because it leaves a lot of space in between my shoulder and his face. That means there's too much room here. Okay, I don't like that. So, instead of holding on to his collar, I'm going to deepen my arm and hold on to his shoulder. See that? Now my shoulder's on his face. It's a little bit tighter. Okay? Uh, so the deeper I can get this grip, the better. Notice that I'm always leaning on his face with my shoulder. So I'm, I'm forcing my opponent to look the other way. If my opponent can look up or into me, that means he can shrimp, he can hip out, he can move himself away, and now he can fight me. I want my opponent to look the opposite way. So if I have side control here, I want to make sure my opponent is looking that way. So that's why I'm going to trap his face. I'm going to lean on it with my shoulder. Another important thing is that I'm always trying to trap his arm on my hip. I don't want this arm to be free. If this arm is free, he's pushing me away. I don't want him fighting. See, I don't want him pushing my hip away with this arm. The other side. So if I'm here and that arm is free, then he's always pushing me away. That, that gets in my way from controlling. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my leg in. I'm going to make sure I trap his arm on my hip, just like this. I have my arm, my left arm on the inside, and my left knee over my elbow. And now his arm's trapped, trying to move your arm. See, it's, it's, I, I got it under control, so it's not going anywhere. My right knee is right next to his hip as well. Look at my right knee. See how it's touching his hip? This is my side control. Now, my right hand uh, depends on how you want to control your opponent. Different ways of controlling. I'm going to show you two different ways of, uh, uh, two different things you can be doing with this right hand. One of them is just locking an underhook right here. Remember that underhook underneath his armpit? And I'm gonna let go of his, of his gi, I'm gonna hold on my own hand. And I keep this, this position right here. When I have this underhook, I wanna open up my arm as much as possible. If I keep my arm too close to his body, he's got too much range of motion with that left arm so he can move his arm around. I don't like that. I like to take it away from him and keep my head low. Cause I don't want that forearm in front of my face either. So I keep my head low. Okay, and this is my side control. Notice that I have my shoulder on his face, I have his arm locked on my hip, and I'm locking that arm as well. So he's got a little to work with. So I'm here, one, two. I bring my shoulder up as he moves that arm around. I follow with my head, and I try to put as much weight as possible on top of my opponent. This is just one way of controlling him, okay? Now, the other option would be, instead of holding on to my own hand, I would be holding on to his pants with my right hand, this right here. A lot of people like this side control. There's less upper body control, but I got some sort of control over his hips. So if he tries to strength, if he tries to move away, I can control him by pushing his hips the other way. So if he tries to hip out, and if he tries to bring that leg in, a lot of guys will try to bring that left, right leg in. My arm is there, it's blocking it. So if he tries to get this knee in front of my stomach to put me back in guard, my right arm is blocking it. Whereas in here, if he manages to create a little distance, he might be able to get that knee in front of my stomach. Go. And then he puts me back in guard. Okay. Now, of course, it requires me making a mistake. He normally, he won't be able to get that knee in if I'm doing, if I'm holding side control correctly. But in any case, some people prefer to hold on to the pants. If you're comfortable with that, uh, my advice is get comfortable with both. Get, get comfortable with this right here. Upper body control. Yeah. Tight. Like leaning on his face with my left shoulder, trapping his arm with my hip. Keep this underhook wide open, and keep your head low. This is one way. The other way, I'll be holding on, holding to his, hold on to his shoulder, keeping my shoulder heavy on his face, and holding to, hold to his pants with my right hand. Okay, this is my other option. Uh, different ways of controlling side control. Those are the two most basic, simple ways of controlling your opponent, and uh, that's what we're going to be working with right now.